Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of the Blogger dashboard. So let's get started. Now, first of all, you need to have a blog up and ready for uh, this uh, tutorial. So just go ahead to the Blogger dashboard and uh, click over here and uh, click on uh, new blog and then just give the name of your blog the address and uh, click on create blog after creating your blog you have a lot of different options over here now if i click on this drop down we can see all the blogs that we currently have so just select one of these blogs and on the left side we have these tabs over here and on the right we have the settings to change so first of all here we can see we have a button called view blog so if I click on that we can see our blog live in action over here so if you have made any changes to the theme or the layout then you can go ahead and click on view blog and you'll be able to see the changes you made over here so that's all about view blog and then we have this posts tab and if I go over here on the right we can see we can create a new post by clicking on new post and here we can give a title and then here you can type the content of our post and here we have different options for our text now these options are almost like a word processor application so if you have worked on Google Docs or uh, Microsoft Word then you may be familiar with uh, these options over here and after writing the content of your blog you just have to click on publish and uh, then the blog post will be published and if you want you can also preview your blog post and we also have different options over here which will take a look at a dedicated video when we talk about only this post creation process so for now we'll just click on close and then here we can see the list of all our blog posts so here the first second and third post that we had already created and then here we can see the date that it was published on and the view count and uh, the number of comments and we can also see this draft over here which we just created so if we just create a post and uh, just save it and uh, don't publish it then it will stay in the draft mode and uh, you can go ahead and edit and make changes and then publish it afterwards or if you want to delete one of these posts then just click on delete over here and it will ask you for confirmation and uh, just click on OK and uh, the post will be deleted. So that's it about post. Now let's go to stats and uh, here we can see statistics of our website. And here it says the page views that we had today, the page views that we had yesterday, last month and uh, all time history. So here you can keep track of how your blog is performing. Now if you go down over here we can see the page views for individual post so these are all our posts and these are the page views that we got and then here we can see the traffic sources so these are the locations from where people have landed on our blog and then here we can see where our audience is located so we can see the number of page views from each country and we also have options for day which gives us uh, the statistics of each day and month and all time and if we click on refresh then these stats will be refreshed and you'll get the latest stats over here now this is the overview of the stats if you go to posts we can see the uh, the page views of the individual posts and then if you go to traffic sources we can see the traffic sources over here and you can also take a look at the search keywords that people are using to land on your blog and then if you go to audience we can see where our audience is located so we have from India United States and France and unknown region and then here we can see the browsers that are used to view our blogs and also the operating system that is used so all these things can help you a lot in making your blog better so now let's go to the next section which is comments so here we can see all the comments that we had for our blog so this is a comment that we had for the third post so if you click on this third post over here we can see the comment over here so what you can do is we can remove the comment if you want delete the comment entirely 
or you can declare it as a spam now if you go to spam we can see all the comments that are categorized as spam automatically by blogger all right so that's all about comments now let's go to earnings and uh, here you can add your google adsense account and uh, then you can earn using google adsense so if you click on how to qualify for adsense we can see the eligibility requirements for adsense so you can just go ahead and uh, click on these links over here and see how you can be eligible to apply for adsense now the next option over here is pages pages are different from posts pages are usually used to write content like about us contact us uh, privacy policy and so on so if you want to create a new page you can just click on new page and you can type in the title over here and the content and these options over here are pretty much the same as the options for new post so just click on close over here and I also have a video on difference between page and post you can find it in the description below alright that's it with pages now let's go to layout and here we can add remove or edit gadgets to our blog and we can rearrange the gadgets and uh, we can change the layout over here so let's go ahead and uh, make some changes to the footer just to demonstrate how this works so right now if you go to our website we can see that uh, here we have powered by blogger here on the footer now we want to add something down here so let's go to our footer and we'll click on edit and uh, here we can type something that we want to be displayed over there here we'll just type live blogger 2019 and uh, we'll click on save now if you just click on view blog we can see we have live blogger 2019 over here in the footer so in this way you can uh, make changes to your layout over here you can also add a new gadget by just clicking on add a gadget and then selecting a gadget from here all right so that's it with the layout tab now let's go to theme and here we can see our theme on desktop and mobile we can also change our theme by selecting a theme from here and you can also make changes to the HTML if you know how to edit HTML but if you don't know how to code then you can use this customize button to customize your design so let's click on customize there are a lot of different options over here and uh, we'll have a dedicated video on uh, customization but for now we'll just make some minor changes over here so if you go to background over here we can make changes to the background color of our post so here you can see in this way we can make changes to the background and if you go to advanced we have a lot of different options over here so if you go to header we can change the background of the header so in this way we can customize our theme so let's just go back to blogger so that's all about the theme option over here now let's go to settings and here if we go to basic we can change the title of our blog we can add some description or change the description over here and then we can see the blog address we have over here and you can also add custom domain over here by just clicking on this uh, option over here and then you can type in your custom domain and uh, you can find the instructions over here and here we can enable or disable HTTPS and then if you go to posts comments and sharing and we have options over here like how many posts should be shown on the main page and uh, we can add some template over here for each post so if you type thanks for watching over here and now if we save changes now if you click on post and uh, new post we can see it has uh, this thanks for watching uh, text already written over here so in this way you can add a post template and then here we have the option of showing images with light box so let's go ahead and click on this uh, post over here and now if I click on this image we can see the image is displayed on top of our uh, post but if we have that uh, disabled and uh, now if we refresh our page and now if we click on the image 
you can see it goes to a different URL altogether. So if you want the image to be shown as an overlay, then uh, you can set this option to yes. And then we have different options for comments and uh, and uh, you can set who can comment on your posts and uh, do you want comment moderation and all. And you can select these options according to your needs. And then here we have the option of setting the email for notification. And then we have language and formatting options over here. So we can select the language and uh, then we can also select the time zone, date, header format and uh, all these things. And then if you go to search preferences, we can type meta description for our blog. And you can also set your custom message for page not found. So now if you go to our blog and if you go to a page that doesn't exist on our blog it says sorry the page you were looking for in this blog does not exist. Now we can go ahead and uh, make changes over here and uh, here we can type our custom message. So we'll just type this page doesn't exist and we'll also add a link to our home page. Please go to our home page for more and uh, we'll add an anchor tag over here and uh, here we will type the URL of our home page right now if you click on save changes and now if you refresh our page we can see it says this page doesn't exist. Please go to our home page and we have this link of our home page over here. All right, so in this way you can set a custom message for your page not found. And then you have custom redirect. So if you want to redirect some link to this blog, then uh, you can do that over here. And then here we have options like Google Search Console, robots.txt file and robots header tags and all these are a little bit advanced so if you're just a beginner then it is better not to make any changes over here and now let's go to other and uh, here we have some options where uh, we can import content so if you have a backup of your blog then you can import it from here and you can backup your content by clicking on backup content and save to your computer and you can manage your videos over here and if you want you can delete your blog by clicking on delete blog and uh, we have different options for the blog feed and if you have set up a google analytics for this blog then uh, you can add the web property id over here and then you have the user settings where you can edit the user profile so that's basically an overview of the blogger dashboard so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.